This is the Cholo News Report for Thursday, 29, November, 2018. A series of U.S. airstrikes kills at least 30 Afghan civilians in Ghanzi district, Helmand province. The target of the strikes was a suspected Taliban compound. The United States strategy aims to push the Taliban into talks. An Afghan boy receives treatment at a hospital after an airstrike in Helmand province. Afghanistan, November 28, 2018. A resident of the area called Muhammadullah said the clash began late on Tuesday. The deaths are the latest in a growing civilian casualty toll caused by airstrikes and underline. The severity of the Afghan war even as moves to begin peace talks have picked up with contacts between U.S. peace envoys al Khalilzad and Taliban representatives. A chain reaction of exploding trucks triggered by a blast during the delivery of acetylene gas at a chemical plant in Zhangjiakou, China, kills 23 people and injures at least 22 others. The acetylene was being delivered to the Haipo a new energy technology company in Zhangjiakou City, in the northern province of Hebei, Xinhua reported. Zhangjiakou, about 156 kilometers northwest of Beijing is set to host the 2022 Winter Olympics along with the capital. Public anger over safety standards has grown in China after three decades of swift economic growth has been marred by accidents, ranging from mining disasters to factory fires. Flash flooding kills two people and causes major power outages in Sydney, Australia. Heavy rain fell throughout Wednesday the city at one point receiving its average monthly rainfall in two hours. A volunteer with the state's emergency service also died while out on duty, and two police officers were injured after being hit by a falling tree while trying to help Sydney motorists, authorities said. Images posted online showed down trees and flooded roads, houses and train stations. Two former presidents, Andrew Rajalina and Mark Ravalomanana, advance to the second round, due to be held on December 19. Incumbent President Harry Rajanaramampianana is eliminated. Madagascar is hoping for its second peaceful election since the upheaval of 2009, when Ravalomanana was toppled by protests led by Rajalina in what the African Union and other international organizations said was a coup. The relative political stability since the 2013 Election has enabled the economy to rebound, about 80% of the population of 25 million lives on less than two per day. Doctors and firefighters strike in Catalonia, Spain, over budget cuts, ending with clashes between demonstrators and Mossos Desquadra at the doors of Catalan Parliament. Students and teachers start a two-day strike. While the Institute has the budget to cover this measure, it admits there is not enough staff to fill the places, and is asking doctors to work extra remunerated hours.